Well, good evening. Denver leaders expect the number of migrants arriving in the city to grow in the coming days. More than 130 arrived in Denver in the past week from Central and South America. Denver 7's Patrick Perez live in the newsroom with an update on this really significant increase, Patrick. Yes, yeah, Shannon, we got an update this afternoon from the city, which has provided more clarity about this ongoing situation. The city estimates about 300 migrants have come to Denver in the past two months. More than 130 of them have arrived since Friday. They're getting here by car and bus, with many of them getting dropped off at Union Station and making their way to the Denver Rescue Mission. Staff there help them figure out where to go next. Now, as of this afternoon, about 120 of them remain at an emergency shelter that the city has set up for them. A question now that a lot of people have asked these past few days is who is telling them to come to Denver and helping them get here? Well, today the city made it clear this does not appear to be the work of any other state government. From what we've been able to gather, there was sort of a, a, an informal um, gathering, um, some on social media among those folks themselves. Um, this does not appear to be anything that was organized by another government entity to direct people specifically to Denver. Um, so we just want to make that clear for you all again. We do not think that that was the case. No evidence of that. The city says it anticipates more migrants will be arriving in the coming days, which is why it's calling on nonprofits and church groups for help with shelter and resources. And as you can imagine, the sudden increase in migrants has put a strain on what the city can offer on its own. Now, anyone who would like to help, including those wanting to volunteer or donate money, can do so by visiting denvergov.org slash OEM. We'll also have that link for you on denver7.com. And one more thing to note here, Shannon, those who are seeking asylum are getting helped by the city to arrive at their final destination. Now, whether that's somewhere here in Denver or elsewhere, but no one is required to stay at a shelter and they can leave whenever they want. All right, Patrick Price, thank you for that update on that tonight. We appreciate it.